want to quickly go over the history of royalties on Solana, what they actually are, and what's happening right now. So the first thing is we made this tool for combating royalty theft, which is what happens when somebody tries to sell an NFT without paying royalties. Um, and this is a tool that collections can use for free. Uh, just go to nft-jail.com and that will have all of the links that you need to use the free tool. Um, and then let's go back through the history of royalties. So royalties, when uh, first you have to start with the release of NFTs, which is a year ago on Solana. That was designed by Metaplex. And all a royalty is, is a literal, just a number stored on the blockchain. And it's not enforced at all within the NFT. It's literally just stored. It's like, I want 10% of the sale. Okay. And then marketplaces can choose to enforce it. So at the very beginning, when there was a, say, Solana, or sorry, Solana Art, uh, Alpha Art, um, uh, uh, I'm already forgetting the other names, but you know, obviously Magic Eden became the bigger one. Digitalize is what I was trying to think of. Um, there was intense competition between the marketplaces, and back then it was um, it uh, uh, you, the really really important part of becoming the dominant marketplace was having collections verify having collections verify the list of collections. Uh, list of NFTs that are part of their collection with your marketplace. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is also collections linking to your marketplace, right? So for marketplaces then to compete, the most important thing was getting the collections on board. So if you weren't paying collection royalties, you would lose that game. So that is why that up until now, royalties have been enforced because the most important people have been collections and still are to, uh, still are they will be but the reason now is that the biggest player magic eden enforces royalties right well how do you um how do you compete with magic eden if you want to start a competitor well you can start a competitor that does not enforce royalties in that case some royalties are as high as 10 percent um and if the nft is three thousand dollars that's three hundred dollars that a person could save by going to your marketplace and buying an nft there and that's that much quicker that I can sell my NFT because I can price it lower than all the other NFTs on Magic Eden. So there's a pretty strong financial incentive to be able to, um, to be able to go go through that, uh, to to, be, to go to that marketplace, right? So it, it does make sense. But the thing that Metaplex also added is what's called an update authority. An update authority can update any of the metadata of an NFT whenever it wants to, and the update authority is basically almost always obviously the creator of the collection right so that person can update the nft and this is what i was thinking of actually a couple months ago i said or a few actually several months ago um you know what what would happen if somebody decides to stop enforcing the royalties because it's only enforced in the in the uh marketplace contract well the collector collections can fight back purely because of the update authority if the update authority didn't exist royalties would be pointless um, and they would, they would completely go away, but the update authority does exist and you can use that to change the metadata to quote unquote, deactivate the NFT, uh, both on chain and off chain. So two things. So one, you can deactivate it on chain that you with our tool NFT jail, you more or less put it in jail and I'll show you what happens. I, I made a video showing you how to use it, but I'll just show you what happens. And that changes the metadata on chain so that people can obviously see that their NFT has been tagged as being in jail and is now deactivated. The second part is off-chain where you can remove it from your services, remove it from the community so that the NFT doesn't have any utility, um, you know, aside, aside from that. So see, and then it, it, it's changed to a jail image, nft-jail.com, that sort of thing, okay? So, all right. And then you can unjail it just as easily. Okay, and I had a longer video description elsewhere. So royalties are extremely important, right? There's a, I've seen some arguments where it's like, this is a tax and these collections are greedy and blah, 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 blah. Well, a couple things. One is the real in the real world, people have to pay rent and they have to buy food, okay? Uh, if you want them to work for you, 
in terms of you're an investor in their project, they need some source of revenue, especially at the beginning. Royalties are a great way for that. Um, and uh, and it's an, ex it's an extremely big incentive for people to make NFTs in the first place, to get that stream of uh, revenue early on. If you're not comfortable with the royalty that they set, and the artist can set any number of royalties from zero to 10% or even higher. Uh, if you're not comfortable, then don't buy the NFT, right? You bought it knowingly, knowing that royalty in almost all cases, right? It's never, it's almost never changed. So, uh, you know, to complain about it after the fact is uh, just kind of whiny and uh, entitled. Um, and then, you know, the second part is that these collections are greedy or whatever. Okay, well, maybe, sure. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I mean, obviously some are. I mean, of course, but so what? <laughs> then why would you why would you own the NFT? Um, it just doesn't really make it makes sense. The the reality is it's a bunch of arguments for people who who want who just really just want to save their own money, which that also makes sense. But but if they you know in doing so it's a uh, it's a race to the bottom. I also saw one other argument, which is royalties are good, but you shouldn't be able to freeze the NFT. This is by. Uh, uh, Frank at Genesis Go on Twitter, and uh, yeah, well, there's an update authority for a reason. Um, if uh, if if you know the up, if you strongly disagree with the update authority, then maybe Genesis Go should make another NFT uh, co smart contract. It's not hard to do um, with Metaplex and. Uh, well, see which ones creators use. I, as a creator, I would use the one with an update authority every single time. So, um, but you know, I mean, it's, it's worth creating it, but it has it for a reason and you should be able to use it, you know? So, I mean, if you, if you have some principle where you don't want to, then you can lose your revenue off royalties and not use such a tool. Um, and that's totally fine. That's your prerogative because it's your, uh, creation, but that's how the smart contract works, the main one on Solana. And anybody can create a new one because it's a permissionless system. So anyways, that's th those are my thoughts on it. I think it's extremely important and something we absolutely need to fix so, and preserve. So thank you.